Joy Morning Show with DJ D Roy on Gospel Live 365. Gospel Joy with DJ D Roy on Gospel Live 365 365 Radio. 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 Good morning, Jesus. Now having you here, I hear joy bells whenever you are near. No more sorrow, no more fears. For you have given us power. That's why with your victory we cheer. But this is the day that you have made. And no matter what it looks like, sounds like, or it very well may be, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, first of all, we want to thank you for life that exists in us today at this very hour. We want to thank you for help to do any and everything. We want to thank you for strength that enables us with the ability to fulfill our purpose in you. For if it had not been for your power, this day would not exist. So, Father, we just want to say thank you. I praise you, Father, for your goodness, your kindness, your mercy, and your wonderful grace. Father, I just want to thank you for after all the things I've been through. I want to thank you for the things that I didn't understand, that were not a part even of my plans. The things that rocked my boat, and I thank you, God, for calming my sin. You, Jesus, allowed it to be. When things were good and things were bad, you, Jesus, never left me, neither did you forsake me. For, Lord, you've been so good to me. I've had disappointments. I've had letdowns. I've had drama. I had trauma. Some darker days and sleepless nights. But you, Jesus, were right there for me. Jesus, I could hear your voice speak so clear. Say, I still love you. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for loving me enough to witness your unfathomable wonders. Lord, you are the only wonderful one. You are the wonder in my soul. There will never be another like you. You are the king that can never be dethroned. I need your touch. Touch me now. Touch me again. I want to be touched by you, for I'm in your hand. You are the potter and I am the clay. I am on the wheel. Mold me and make me and shape me into what you need me to be. For you, Jesus, are the righteous that's never done wrong. You are the absolute answer to every question. You are the joy that flows in my mind and in the midst of confusion. That's why I call your name Jesus. For your name is a strong tower and we are the righteous and we run therein. You, Jesus. Because everything else has to come subject to your name, Jesus. Jesus. It's just something about calling your name, Jesus. There's power in your name. There's healing in your name. There's victory in your name. We call your name. Father, life has not been a fairy tale, but Lord, you have been good. And I bless your name. I praise your name. And when I praise you, you move in and solve every problem, takes away every burden, and to rest, rule, and abide with me. Oh, sweet Jesus, you are the sweet lily in the valley of decision. Sweet Jesus, the star that shines brighter than the situation. Thank you, Lord, for never leaving me when I was wrong. Forgive me again, Jesus, this day. Forgive me. Lord, I want to be saved. Save me from myself. Not the things that others may know, but save me from my DNA. Save me from the perpetual sins of my ancestors. Save me today. Those things that don't have faces, but they've got spirits. They have a nature that can lead us to destruction. Save me, Lord. I come against sickness and disease that others have died from, but I'm still here. And yet I praise you, Lord, and I come against everything that would try to detour, to distract me from executing the plan for my life. 
and building the kingdom of God. I come against the things that lie dormant to launch an attack on the possibilities for progression in our lives. Father, I pray for our children's lives and our seed generations to come for all that the enemy did to us in the past. I cancel every assignment with the authority of the blood of Jesus and the blood that makes the wrong right. The blood that straightens out the crooked and the twisted turns the backward around and puts you in front of the wicked. Oh, saint of God, you have, yes, you have the authority to speak life to dead situations. You've gotten weary, but you can't faint. You may be tired, frustrated, and baffled, bewildered, despondent because of life. But oh, my sister and oh, my brother, hold on, push through, climb over it, go around it. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. By all means, keep on moving. I need a change. You need a change. We need a change. We need a change in our minds from poverty to a perspective of prosperity. We need a change from destitute to a decision of destination. We need a change from the mentality of blaming to a responsibility of making a change for the better. Father, I pray today that you would change us. Change us for the better. Change us in our assessing life according to your word and your will. Your word is the entrance of life and light. Now, Father, as we go through this day, I pray for the anointing of you and the wherewithal to apply myself to be constructive, creative, and committed to carry out this great assignment that you've given unto me. I invoke your spirit of excellence that you will be proud of what you would see in me. And I will glorify you and I will glorify your name because nothing is bigger than it and the things that we pray we have the confidence that you will perform them father we thank you for this time that you would keep us and protect us as we go through this day as we speak life in this day in jesus name thank god amen Hallelujah. J.D. Roy on Gospel Live 365, 365 Radio. 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 Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, each and every one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gospel Joy Morning Show. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm your vessel, Lord, and nothing more. And nothing more. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm. And when you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Oh, dear Lord. Ask you to take your place. Sing through me. Hallelujah. Speak through me. Blow through me. And preach through me. That your name be glorified. Let the name of Jesus alone be lifted high. 
Nathaniel Bassi. This is with a song called Take the Stage. Welcome, welcome to the Gospel Joy Morning Show. Each and every one of you out there in Radio Land, we want to thank you so very much for joining us this morning, for joining me this morning in worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is the 21st day of January, and so we also want to give God all the praise and all the glory this morning. He didn't have to do it, but he did. We didn't have to see all 21 days that's going by, all right? But God is a great God, a merciful God, and we celebrate him this morning. We lift him up. We magnify him. I want to welcome every single one of you listening to me this morning, those of you on the app, those of you on TuneIn Radio, those of you on the website. God bless you. Those of you on Facebook, wherever you are hearing me at this time, I pray that God will move among us this morning. Those of you on YouTube, thank you so very much for listening. And um, you'll be watching this after it's recorded. But we just want to give God thanks for you already. Because we know God is going to touch you. God is going to bless you. Thank you so very much for being a part of the Gospel Live 365 movement. We pray and trust that God will come through for us today. And a breakthrough will happen right in the midst of us this morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It promises to be a beautiful, beautiful day. And so that's what we're going to be celebrating this morning. Jermaine Edwards with a song called Beautiful. Beautiful day. Said this morning I woke up and I looked in the mirror and every part of my body was in place. Many people died and never saw this day. So another day I live. Don't ever wanna act too high and mighty Cause tomorrow I can fall down on my face So in everything, Lord, I give you praise Tune in to the gospel joy that goes with DJ D. Hillary Lord, I thank you for sunshine Thank you for rain Thank you for joy Thank you for pain It's a beautiful day Beautiful day It's a beautiful day With a lesson, uh -huh. wiser, harder. In the end, it will get better. Thank you for the for Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day indeed, right here in Houston, Texas. Don't go so far. Let us die. Yeah, uh huh. And I want to say a pleasant good morning to Keita Johnson. Good morning to Sharon Joy. I want to say good morning to Norma Rodriguez. Good morning to you. Rosa Williams, good morning. Roberta Martin, good morning to you. Lorraine Steven, Marcia Demers, Marla Forrest, good morning. Evangelist Ramsharan, good morning, sir. Norma Rodriguez. Blessings, blessings. Jacqueline Pennant, good morning to you. Indeed, it's a beautiful day. Mr. Dwayne Walters, good morning. Joanne Prince B, good morning. Speedway, good what, afternoon in Australia? What, what is it now in Australia? Come on. I want to say good morning also to Sidani. Good morning, Sidani. Good morning to you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Millicent Price, welcome. I want to say good morning to Patrick Good. 
Golden. Kendra Shaw, good morning to you. Ash Fisher, good morning to you. Tia Joy, good morning to you. Mama Rosa, good morning to you. I heard it is cold down there in Florida. I heard, I heard, I heard. Somebody sent me a picture in the scarf and all kind of craziness. I'm like, what are you saying to me? <laughs> I want to say good morning to Miami, Florida. Good morning. My God will deliver me. Indeed. Hey, it's the flame, and you're listening to Gospel Live 365 Radio. Keep it locked right here. That's right. Keep it locked right here on Gospel Live 365, the home of the best Caribbean American Gospel Radio, man. We are gonna go in some real, 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 real worship this morning. <laughs> Radical worship, y'all. Brand new track out of Jamaica, Darren Grant. No one, no one. What a worship medley, watch it. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no one will. Who can stand against the King? No one can, no one will. One degrees and they say it's cold. It's ten degrees in Philadelphia. <laughs> good God. I want to say good morning. Good morning to Vivian Sim, Sylvia Clark Smith. Good morning to you. In the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, we're gonna break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Good morning to the First Lady. Good morning to you, Rochelle. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Gospel Joy Morning Show. There's no one like my God. Good God. There's no one like you, Jesus. Mr. Darren Grant out of Jamaica. Uh-huh. Come on. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the no one can, no one will. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus, victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus, victory belongs to Him. Jesus 
us. There is power in the name of Jesus. We're gonna break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. It's the morning show. It's the morning show. Gospel joy. Good morning to Mr. James Fraser. Sergeant Jacks, good morning to you. Who can stand against my Lord? No one can. No one will. Hold up. Who can stand against my King? No one with DJ D. Roy on Gospel Live. Mighty God of Daniel, I tell you, 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 I tell you. Listen to me. A charge, a charge to keep, I have. A charge to keep, I have. A God to glorify. A never dying soul to save. And fit it for the sky. And fit it for the sky. I'm encouraged to encourage you this morning to let you know that nothing should hinder us from making it in with Jesus. Nothing should hinder us from making it in with Jesus. The servant in the book of Genesis got instructions from his master not to let anything hinder him, but complete his mission and be back on his way to him. The voice of the Lord is saying to us today, let nothing hinder you, me, let nothing hinder us. Be about my business. Be about God's business. And return unto him, our master. Our very existence is to do the will of God the way he wants us to do it. I admonish you this morning. Let nothing hinder us from the love of God. From being saved and from making it into eternity. Whatever is in our world that is antagonistic, opposition, and some form of opposition or is against the will of God, get rid of it and let nothing hinder us. Genesis 24 and verse 56 says these words, And he said unto them, Hinder me not, hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. And he said unto them, Hinder me not. Seeing the Lord I prospered my way, send me away that I may go to my master. These are God's holy words. We honor them and glorify his holy name this morning. The morning show. It's the morning show. Gospel joy with DJ D. Roar. Gospel Live 365, the Caribbean American Gospel Radio. 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We want to welcome those of you who are just joining us this morning. We want to welcome Andre, uh, Andre Nebooth. Good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, Keita Johnson is inviting everybody she could find. I mean, every person she can find, she is inviting them, and I love it. Thank you so very, very much for doing so. Angie Collier, good morning to you, ma'am. God bless you, and thank you. Lorraine Stevens, I think I mentioned you already. Um, I heard it's cold down there in Florida. Um, cold meaning it's 45 degrees. <clears throat> Cold meaning it's 45 degrees, but it's gonna get to 68 by lunchtime. Yeah, 45 degrees in Florida is cold. All right, they don't, they're not used to that kind of thing, so you know, they're gonna cry. They're gonna cry. So, we pray for Florida that this cold front that they're going through, <laughs> this cold front they're going through won't take any lives. Okay, <laughs> hey, let's just call her Hannah. Carla Hannah, you're going to give us a Reggae Worship Medley. Watch this, y'all. Now it's 33 degrees in Ocala. All right, 33 degrees in Ocala. Now that's cold right now. Right now it's cold. It is cold, Silver Clark's been. Stay warm, girl. Say good morning to Joe and Arnett. Good morning to you. Yeah. Vivian Sims, I see you, Vivian. Good morning to Marie Hamilton. Good morning, Marie. Oh, Angelo Fleming, I see you. Oh, Top of the morning to you. Me, uh, Mr. Darren Grant, good morning, sir. Man, I, I played I played the track earlier, man. They're loving your track. They're loving your track, right?
we better take this one one more time from the T.O.P. I love this jam right here, man. I love this jam right here. I tell you, loving it, loving it. They said it's freezing in Toronto, Canada. Oh, man, my heart goes out to you guys, man. It's a bit chilly down here, too, in Texas. You said Texas is kind of chilly. Yes. John Max to the Max. Good morning. Oh, 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 oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Ah. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. You're deep in the ocean. High on the mountain. Fill me up, Jesus. <laughs> what is it? Good morning to Marcia. Then was good morning to you, Marcia. Cheryl Hall. Good morning, Cheryl. Avis hey, McGriff. Good morning to you. Today's best mixes, GL365 Radio. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. 
24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is GL365 Radio. The station for the people. Broadcasting live across the globe on Tuna Radio and www.gospellive365.com. Good morning to Groly. Good morning to you. Precious what I see, precious what. Good morning. Malika, Malika Wilson Stevenson. Good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gospel Joy Morning Show. Zelfa Brown. Good morning. Angela Fleming, what's the weather like over there in the Bahamas? What's the weather like over there in the Bahamas? Give, give, give us an idea what's going on. It's 52 degrees in Deerfield Beach. Uh-huh, 52, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Anything above 50, all right, right? Because I'm telling you, there's some places in Florida right now. A serious, serious cold front. It's going on, and they're my friend. They're my friend. They're my friend. <laughs> Marvis God, song of adoration. Watch it. From your presence. Tomorrow, Francisco. Good morning to you. Cause I need you. Woo! El It's 32 degrees in. Where's that, Montreal? Is that serious? Is that. Is, oh, negative 32. <laughs> Lord Jesus. It's negative 32 degrees. Negative 32 degrees in Montreal. Lord God. Oh, what? Negative 32. Jesus. Millicent Price is five degrees in our car. <laughs> You know, you can't wait. You can't on a heater, or it's really five degrees in wherever you are. Of adoration, and this is my song of gratitude. I don't know much why you love me, but I want to say thank you. Throw them out. 
all over, all over. It is cold, man. It is freezing cold everywhere, all right? So everybody stay warm, stay warm. And I hope this kind of reggae praise, reggae worship will keep you warm, all right? 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is GL365 Radio. The station for the people. Broadcasting live across the globe on TuneIn Radio and at www.gospellive365.com. All right, here's a song I came upon, man. I came upon this song, this song the other day, a couple of days ago. Patricia Bowen, Golda McFarlane with a song called Oceans. Watch it. Yo, I love the water. Watch it. Green Walters, wow. Listen. You call me out upon my troubles. Yeah. I want to say good morning to Polly Joseph. Oh. Polly Joseph is reminding us that it's cold in Florida, cause yeah, we know. Trust me, them are out. Must get some pictures this morning. Some people have on scarf. <laughs> scarf. Stop, scarf. When I say we are long John to work, this. <laughs> Lord Jesus, do it, Walters. Oh, your money down there. Oh, your money do it. Winter says negative 20 degrees where she's at. We're in Canada because Montreal is negative 32. So, where in Canada are you, Sean Winter? Say good morning to Mrs. Steve Watkins. Sir. Morning, boss. Morning, morning, sir. Morning. You're late for church, man.
Live 365 presents Church Matters with Pastor Gifton Wallace each and every Wednesday morning at 10 Eastern. Listen in as Pastor Gifton discusses matters and issues of the church and gives us spiritual guidance and leadership in correcting them. Bring your questions by calling or texting our studio at 954-998-4777. That's 954-998-4777. You don't want to miss Church Matters with Pastor Gifton on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. on your all-day, all-night station, Gospel Live 365 Radio. Grooving in your car? Sitting at a desk or relaxing on the deck? Come and enjoy the mid-morning Gospel Showcase. It's the Gospel Joy Morning Show with DJ D. Roy every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 9.30. Join DJ D. Roy and share the joy on the Morning Show. comes the train. Get on board. It's the Late Night Gospel Train with DJ D-Roy, each and every Tuesday and Thursday night at 9.30 p.m. Hear the latest hits and classics and gospel with your favorite DJ. It's the Late Night Gospel Train with DJ D-Roy. Don't you miss the trip. Get ready for the joy. Sunday Joy with Joanne Prince B on Gospel Live 365 Radio. Sundays at 4 Central, 5 Eastern. It's the Sunday Joy with Joanne Prince B on your favorite station. Has this ministry been a blessing to you? Has it been uplifting to your soul? Well, here's an opportunity to show your gratitude by sending a love gift using our PayPal account on our website at gospellive365.com. That's gospellive365.com. Please support us as we continue to serve God's people globally in presenting great music and entertainment for our listeners all over the world. Thanks for supporting this ministry. book with daily vacations you are already on vacation daily we make vacation dreams come alive whether you plan on a relaxing escape a family reunion honeymoon historical or religious tour expect a personalized level of service tailored to you relax let us handle the details call us at 954-406-9841 or email us at dailyvacations at outlook.com or visit us at www.dailyvacay.com. That's D A L E Y V A C A Y.com and allow daily vacations to make your dreams come true. Good morning and welcome to Monday Morning Empowerment, a time where we motivate and challenge you to live your life with purpose and authenticity. Let's join Hewlett for today's session. I want to welcome all of you all to Monday Morning Empowerment. I want to say a special welcome to our Gospel Live 365 listeners who listen to us all over the world. Thank God for Douglas Bramwell, who helps to make that possible. So God bless you, sir. God bless you. And I just want to say thank you all for being with us again this morning. God is so good, isn't he? You know, I even said to myself this morning, chuckling, I said, one of these days, I'm just going to come on here and have a worship service. They're going to be shocked. I mean, because when I I woke up this morning, just a lot of worship and praise was on my spirit. And I said, you know what? I should just go ahead and put on a CD one day and just for the next 20 minutes, just have worship. But I want to share a word with you that God placed upon my heart. And uh, I hope it blesses you. Um, It encouraged me and I hope it encourages you as well. Um, When I was growing up, and sometimes I I share these stories with you, my mom loved to bake. She was a great cook, and she also loved to bake. And in my early teens, you know, coming towards 19, 20, I would, you know, we would anticipate, you know, what mom was baking. You know, uh, we moved from licking out the bowl and the spoon to just looking for something that she's baked. And sometimes when we were coming from high school, we could smell her baking halfway down the block. I mean, especially in the winter time, my mom used to make zucchini bread, banana raisin bread. You know, I mean, we could smell it and our mouths would just start water uh, because we knew that once we got inside, mom was gonna have something great for us. But when, like I said, when I was coming up, 
and my mom would bake, I would sneak and go to the oven, waiting for that carrot cake to come out, because my mom was really good at baking carrot cake. Waiting for that carrot cake to come out, I, I peer through the, through the little window in the oven, and then one time I got caught opening the oven door, and my mom got at me. She said, Hewlett, don't do that. And I didn't understand at the time, um, she said, you're going to cause the, the cake not to rise. It's not going to be fully baked. It's not going to be what it's supposed to be. If you open the oven door before it's done. And I was like, okay, mom. But when I was, you know, musing over this word, that's the, the uh, story or the metaphor, the analogy that comes to me in regards to what I want to talk to us about. Now, have there any been, have there, has there any been an instance when you ask the question, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Um, I'm reminded of the the uh, movie Shrek when Donkey you said they're going to the towards I forgot which city they were going towards, and he would keep saying, "Are we there yet?" And it became annoying, and he would say, "No, Donkey, are we there yet?" And I said, "I know sometimes when we are walking through life's uh, as we say Pilgrim Way or we're going on our way, accomplishing our purpose and our destiny." God has made promises to us, and there are times we're wondering, are we there yet? Am, am, I, am, am I close? Am I there yet? And oftentimes, there are two reasons really why we ask those questions. One, we are excited, we're anticipating, you know, once we get to our destination. destination. And then the other side is, we're getting tired. I know God said this, but I'm getting tired. I know he made some promises to me. But it's taken too long. I know I need to do this, and, and this will probably speed up the process. But am I there yet, God? Is it is it happening tomorrow? Is it next week? You know, we get a little bit frustrated. And my encouragement and God's encouragement to us on this morning is to stay the course. Yes, stay the course. I know sometimes we get caught up with all what we're doing and, and life situations come at us and we're wondering, is this it, God? Is, is it going to be over soon? I am so excited about what you have for me. I get there and I'm there. I am so excited about what God has in store for me, what God has in store for you as well. I truly am excited for you because I believe you've waited and you've been tried and you've been tested and i believe i believe that you are passing the test and you are keep and you are going through and you will continue to go through until that promise that god has promised us comes to fruition but until then stay the course there are things that will come in our lives that will have us wanting to deviate from the set course that God has placed us on. But I'm here to encourage us on this morning, stay the course. Do not deviate. And you know, my mom used to tell us sometimes when we were younger, you know, be like the horses that have the blinders on the side. They can't see what's on the right. They can't see what's on the left. They have to stay focused. And it was intentional because the rider wanted to get to their destination and not having to pull the reins to bring the horse back in. And so God is saying to us, I want you to stay focused. I want for you to stay the course. It's not over yet. I'm still putting things into place for you. There are still things that need to be done. I am still working things out in you that you may not be able to see, but it's getting done. Oh, I don't know who that is for. It is getting done. I'm going to receive that word for myself. It is getting done. You may not be able to see all the changes, all the beauty, and all the, the miraculous things that are taking place in within you, but God says it's happening behind the scenes. Stay the course. Do not give up. Stay focused. And the scripture that comes to my mind as I mused on this thought was Philippians 3, verse 12 through 14. And I'm going to read it in the message version Bible for you. So you kind of get a, a, a clearer uh, idea as to what Paul is saying to the Philippian brethren. He says, I'm not saying that I have it all together. Come on now. And he said, I'm not saying I have it all together and that I have made it. But I am well on my way. 
So when the enemy comes to you and say, you know, I know God made some promises to you. How come it hasn't happened yet? You tell that devil, I'm well on my way. Come on, hashtag, I'm well on my way. It may not look like it. It may not, you know, manifest itself that you're well on your way, but you are. Every morning you and I wake up, that is progress, my God. Every morning, God allows you and me to wake up. That is progress. It means that we are not done with what we're doing. There is still time. God is putting things into motion. God is orchestrating his will. God is bringing it forth. And he's saying, stay the course. So Paul says, in all what's going on, I'm still reaching. I'm reaching out for Christ, who has so wondrously reached for me, reached out for me. And you know that reaching out for Christ is not just living holy for him. It's doing what he says. It's being faithful, my God. It's being committed. It's being dedicated to what he has appointed your hands and feet to do in this season. And so Paul says, so he says, you know, I'm, I'm reaching. I'm getting there. Just like he has reached out for me. I am reaching and I'm getting there. And he says, friends, don't get me wrong here now. Don't get me wrong. By no means do I count myself as an expert in all of this. Can I tell you, we are not experts, but the one who resides on the inside of us knows all things. I mean, that in itself is remarkable. The God of the ages, the God who spoke at the beginning and brought things into existence, reside in us through the Holy Spirit, and he knows all things. How awesome it is for us to have all that we need for the journey. God is saying, stay the course. Don't deviate. Stick with it. He says that he does not count himself to be an expert. He also says, but guess what? I have my eye on the goal. My goodness. He says, I have my eye on the goal where God is beckoning me or beckoning us onward. So God is saying, stay the course. I'm calling you. Don't 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 deviate. Keep coming. Uh huh. You know when you are uh, helping someone park their car, uh, it, the space might be tight, and you you are a passenger. And you get on and say, "Okay, I'm gonna help you park." And they're looking to you to guide them. My my my. They're looking. They're trusting your observation. They're trusting what you're able to see at that time. And so you say, "Okay, back it up. Come on, come on, come on in. Come." I know you're close to the car, but I got you. You won't hear it. Come on, come on. God is beckoning us saying, I know you've been on it for a while, but come on, come on. I got you. Come on. Come on. Stay the course. Come on. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. Do not worry about it. I have you. I have your best interest at heart. But what I need for you to do is to stay the course. And so it says God is beckoning us onward, not backwards, onward. I know there are wonderful sights on the way. There may be an inkling to stop for a few days or to take a respite. But God is saying, I understand. I built rest into your journey. Oh, my goodness. I have built rest into your journey. So don't be overcome by what's going on in your life. There are times I need for you to come before me and rest. There are times I need for you to come before me and just lay before me and just worship me and just pray and just trust that I have your best interests at heart. Stop taking things on yourself that weighs you down because I am your burden carrier. I am I'm your burden bearer. Come on now. I'm beckoning you. Keep coming. I got you. I, I, I see everything that's going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't worry. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stay the course. And he says, so I'm off running and I'm not turning back. In the King James Version, it says, I press towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. He's saying, I am off running. I'm not going to be lagging behind. I am going to stay the course. I am going to stay within my limit. I am not going to move ahead of God. I'm not going to lag behind. I am going to stay the course because my eyes are focused. I'm not going to deviate from what he has told me to do, even when there is no money to pay for this thing. Even when the people that you ask to help you decide they're not with you anymore. Even when the folk leave 
God says, I need for you to stay the course because they didn't call you. I called you. They didn't put this responsibility in your hands. I did. And God says, all that you need, my Lord, all that you need is in me. There's a song that says, all that I need is in Jesus. He satisfies. Joy he supplies. Life would be worthless without him. All things in Jesus I find. Can we really say that with an assurity? Can we really say that with strong conviction? Whatever I need, God's got it. Whatever I need in this hour, God has it. The word of God tells us that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So the world belongs to him and everything that's in it belongs to him. So let us let us remain focused. Let us stay the course as Paul encouraged the Philippian brethren. Stay the course. Hold on to the promise. Situations happen where we think, wow, is this really going to happen? But guess what? You've got to stay the course. You've got to keep holding on. God is not slack concerning this promise. He is faithful. And so what he's doing is building confidence in us. He's building stamina in us. Stay the course. Everything is not in place yet. There are folk that God is preparing to meet you. There are businesses. There are companies. There are opportunities that have not come fully together yet. That God is saying, I need you to stay the course. It's going to happen. And when the time is right, you will meet your destiny. You will meet your promise. You will come into line with your purpose. And just like that cake that I almost messed up because I peeped into the oven too early. God says, I don't want you abandoning your journey. I don't want you giving up. I don't want you to be a half-baked cake. I want you to be well done. We're not waiting for when he comes back to hear, well done. We want to be well done on the journey because in our obedience, there is blessing. In our obedience to stay the course, to not give up, to not get angry at God and like Job's wife said, curse God and die. Stay the course. Be faithful. The God who calls you is faithful to you. The God who appointed you is faithful to you. The God who has anointed, called, and appointed you to this season is faithful. He will bring it to pass. Stay the course. Yes, life says, are we there yet? Is this thing going to happen? Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. And guess what? We will not become frustrated. We will not become frustrated. Because in our frustration, we lose strength. In our frustration, we lose focus. And God wants us to remain faithful because he who has called you is faithful. You know, whatever we do, whatever we say, is a representation of who we are. So let's speak life to ourselves. Let's speak healing to ourselves. Let's speak destiny to ourselves. Let's speak strength to ourselves because of who we belong to. Stay the course. Stay the course. Do not give up. Can I tell you? Stay the course. Go ahead and hashtag stay the course. You will stay the course. And I want you to know this. The reward is coming. The reward is coming. See, it's not only what God has called us to and to walk in it and to be in the fulfillment of the thing, but there is a reward for staying the course. There is a reward for going all the way. Intrinsically, in this journey that God has placed us on in this season, our maintaining, our keeping the faith, our staying the course, built in is a blessing for not giving up, my God. Built in is a blessing for staying focused. Built in is a blessing for being faithful. And I want to encourage us on today, stay the course. Stay the course. Do not give up. Paul says, I'm, I'm off running. 
and I'm not turning back. No turning back. We are staying the course and God is faithful. I pray that you are encouraged by these words. I pray that God strength will be in you in greater measure in this season. Some of us have plans, some of us have uh, uh, goals and, and they require things that are outside of our, what you say, our means, okay? There are things that call for more people to help, it would seem sometimes, and there are things that call for more money, which you don't have at the time. And God is saying, because I call you to this, you know, I told you to write that business contract, I told you to go ahead and write that proposal. I told you to go ahead and meet with that person and you're wondering what's taking so long. Maybe I didn't hear God. I told you to start that ministry and it doesn't seem like anybody is following. I told you to go ahead and do this and to do that. And God is saying, hold up here. Stay the course. I called you to this. It's going to be okay. Trust me, he's saying. Trust me. Just stay the course and there is a blessing. God bless you. I pray you have an awesome day. I pray that you have an awesome week. And I will see you again, hopefully, next week this time, according to God's will. God bless you and enjoy your Monday. I love you. Thank you so very much. God bless. Thank you for joining us today. If you were blessed by our sessions, show support by making a tax-deductible donation. Go to ilovenow.org and click the donate button. Please share this session and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, God bless you. I'm Tyler. You're listening to Gospel Day 365. Your number one station, pointing souls to Christ. Gospel Live 365. Welcome to the game show, For Heaven's Sake. Our first contestant is Frank Jones. Hi, Bob. Our second contestant is the Prince of Darkness himself, Satan. Hello, Bob. Okay, question number one. Frank, do you consider yourself a good person? Uh, I'm not perfect, but I think I'm pretty good. And Satan? Well, I'm not perfect, but I think I'm pretty good. That's my answer. You can't... Can he do that? Judges? Okay, we're tied. Question number two. Satan? Have you read the Bible? Many times, Bob. And Frank? Uh, I saw someone hold up a sign that said John 3.16 and I looked it up. Judges? That counts and we're still tied. Here's the final question. Satan, have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Bob, I don't think I need to do that. Well, Frank, so far there's been no difference between your answers and Satan's. So, have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Uh... Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this is GL365 Radio, the station for the people. Broadcasting live across the globe on TuneIn Radio and at www.gospellive365.com. All right, we want to thank Pastor Pearson for such a strong word this morning. Uh, pre recorded episode of the Monday Morning Empowerment. Man, 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 stay the course, y'all. Don't you give up. Don't you, don't you let go. Don't ever give up, man. Oh, man. Come on, y'all. Mine called German Edwards. Uh -huh. whoa, 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 whoa. German Edwards with a song called My Champion. What? I am grateful for the love you gave to me. My heart is overwhelmed. I don't want to call you only when I. Strong.
champion. I want to say good morning to Ina Henry. Good morning to Nisha Gordon. Donna Paula Aberdeen. Good morning to you. I want to say good morning to Mr. Christopher Rose. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jesus reign. Uh-huh. Can I say success if success never came from you? Come on, somebody. I want to say good morning to Joel Cunningham. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, Jackie. Jackie Hutchinson, good morning to you. We gotta share this thing, alright? Get your peoples on here this morning. Get your peoples on here. Get your peoples on here. We're gonna have a great time this morning, right? Could ever take my place? No, sir. You're mine. Right, this one is called My Champion, German Edwards, My Champion, My Champion, My German Edwards. I want to say good morning to Sonia, uh, Sonia McGee-John, good morning to you. 
or Sonia, depends on where you come from, all right? Same thing, all right? Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. Are you looking for a varied station? Today's best mixes, GL365 Radio. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go to a young man in Jamaica. His name is Jason Mighty. You probably hear him a lot of times with Prodigal Son, but this brother right here is powerful, powerful brother, man. All right, he has a song called Your Presence is Heaven. Your Presence is Heaven to me, oh God. Tushana Spence, good boy. What y'all say? I'm going to pass the pull-up to my girl. You know, I'm going to give you a pull-up. I'm going to give you a pull-up. I'm going to give you a pull-up. That's what we do right here in Gospel Live 365. Call the pull-up they did a long time. My girl. Tushana Spence, good morning. I get, I get a pull up, man. I get a pull up. I'm not going to out again, sir. No, sir. It's the morning show. It's the morning show. Gospel Joy. My heart is in the After all, it's Martin Luther King Day today, MLK Day today. So, you know, that's what MLK would have done, right? Only when I'm in <laughs> I was gonna pull up that top. Your presence to stay with me. We are weak, but you are strong. Yeah. You are a champion. Champion. I love you. Nice from the Spice Island, Grenada. Grenada in the building. Good morning. Whatever you say, it's To me, I want to say good morning, Mr. Fitzroy Facey. Good morning, Fitzroy. <laughs> Jimmy Vales, good morning to you. Oh, rain, Jesus, rain. German Edwards, my champion. Came from you. <laughs> How can I see my dreams are accomplished? My dreams weren't sent by you. All I'm saying, nothing really matters. Jesus, if I can't feel you. I want to say good morning, good morning to June Gradom. Good morning to you, June. Good morning, good morning.
Hallelujah. We want to say good morning once again to Evangelist Ram Sharan. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and God bless you. Thank you for joining us this morning. No, Trishana, Trishana, Trishana. You asked for pull up, I'm going to give you a pull up earlier on. All right? We can't play this song three times. We ain't. Not the work this morning. Not this morning. All right? You asked for pull up, I'm going to give you a pull up, sis. <laughs> Souls to Christ. Gospel Live 365. We're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving. And here is Jason Mighty with a song called Your Presence is Heaven. <laughs> Some people too greedy style. <laughs> They're too greedy, man. I want to hide. <laughs> Jason Mighty, your presence is heaven to me. <laughs> Keep it locked right here on Gospel Live 365, the home of the best Caribbean American gospel radio. It is your boy DJ D Roy on the Gospel Joy Morning Show. Watch this love and beauty, endless words. Endless words. Big truth. Nothing in this world will satisfy. No, no words. Cause Jesus, you're the curb that won't dry. Oh. Man, it's a 365 pull up on this one. I could not let it go another second longer. Jason Mighty, your presence, your presence is heaven to me. Want to say good morning to Leha Reyes and Clark. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Watch this love and beauty, endless words. Endless words. Nothing in this world is satisfied. No, no words. Cause Jesus, you're the curb that won't dry. Oh. Your presence is heaven to me. Uh huh. Jesus Mighty. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. A new year to you too, my Mr. Clark. God bless you, sir. Paul Spencer, good, good morning to you. Oh, Jesus.
In my weakness, you are merciful. Thank you, Lord. Redeemer of my past and present wrongs. Holder of the future days to come. I love this gem right here, man. I love this gem right here. Come on. Jesus, your presence is heaven to me. Jesus, your presence is heaven to me. This is Dwayne Walters, and you're listening to the one and only Gospel Live 365 Radio. Indeed, you are listening to the one and only Gospel Live 365 Radio, and um, we are about to give you one of um, my brother's song, man, Dwayne Walters, with a song called Nah Salud. We're not Salud for real. Who are Salud? We're not Salud. Nah Salud, I put you first. It's a minute to 10 o'clock. It's a minute to 10 o'clock, I'm telling you. On this MLK day, welcome, welcome to the Gospel Joy Morning Show. I promise we'll serve you. No matter what I say, me not so loud. No. Boy, out of a lot of deals, Dwayne Walters. <laughs> no matter what I'm saying, guess what? Nah, solo. The man. Jesus all the way. Every day. I promise to serve you. Every day. Come now. No matter what I'm saying, me nah so loud. No, Christ for life. There's no doubt No matter what I'm saying Me not so loud No Christ for life There's no doubt No need to question my allegiance No, no Need to worry where I stand As for me and my house Every day, from there to the left, not to the right. I'll keep my eyes upon the prize, the straight and narrow. That is my choice. I will serve you every day. No matter what I say. No, Christ for life, there's no doubt. No matter what I say, me not so loud. No, Christ for life, there's no doubt. So many choices I've got to make. I want to say good morning to Prophet Jess. Prophet Jess Adassa, good morning to you. Indoors are not from here. No, no, no. Uh, uh. Things of this world will fade away. But in you, I will rest and stay. Won't fare to the left or to the right. No. No, sir. I keep my eyes no, sir. on the prize, the straight and narrow, that is my choice, I'll wave the banner right every day, no matter what I say, me not so loud, no, Christ for life, there's no doubt, 
No matter man, no matter man, no matter what I'm saying. We can't sell out Jesus. Yeah, man. Question my allegiance. No need to worry where I stand. As for me and my love, gospel joy with DJ Tio. Gospel live, representative every day. Over to the left or to the right. I'll keep my eyes. Upon the price, the straight and narrow, that is my choice. I wave the banner every day. No matter what I'm saying, the nice and loud. No, Christ for life, there's no doubt. Twenty-four hours a day, seven days a week. This is GL365 Radio, the station for the people. Broadcasting live across the globe on Tuna Radio and www.gospellive365.com. You're tuned in to the Gospel Joy with DJ T Roy. All right, here's my brother. Here's my brother from another mother. Yeah, Steve Watkins out of Hanover, Jamaica. Serve you, my God. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I want to say good morning, good morning, good morning to you, Dulcita Lynch. Blessed, blessed, Ebony K. Day to you, too. Should I love you and I can't deny? Gospel Joy with DJ D. Love you give to me on you I can lie. Calvary's cross for me, you bled and died. It's one and only Steve Watkins out of Jamaica, man. Ah, Steve! Yes, my beloved one, my beloved one. Serve you, my God. Steve Watkins coming to you right here on the Gospel Joy Morning Show. Want to say good morning to Mr. Nigel Lewis. Big up yourself, Nigel. Good to see you, sir.
God, I tell you, oh my goodness, I tell you, I love that song. I love that jam right there. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's my brother, man, from another mother, Mr. Steve Watkins out of Jamaica. All right. The gospel joy morning show, don't turn hey, with DJ D. Roy on the radio, gospel life 365 radio, Emron Henry say keep it locked. Kaboom. Indeed, indeed. A big, 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 big show. Gospel Joy Morning Show. I want to say good morning to Nicola Spencer Watkins. Good morning, First Lady. First Lady Watkins, I see you. Big up yourself, big up yourself. Your husband make you proud this morning. Make me proud too. Trust me, we love the tune. The one that got up on the mix. All right, yeah. Emmerin Henry out of New York City. Watch it. What is life? Question. My brother, I love you. Sister, I love you, love you. Just want you to know that I forgive you, and I always be with you. I forget all the things that you did to me. You said to me, the man is out of Saint Lucia. What? The, the Saint Lucian Prince. Emmerin Henry. What is life? Came from our brothers yeah. Remove the hatred inside you right. Don't let the past to destroy you uh, We got to care for our neighbors, our neighbors. I want to say good morning, good morning to Margaret uh, Margaret Volsavales And good morning to you Bless up, bless up, bless up every time 